seen great white sharks ambush seals. But what if I told you, this time, the seal turned the tables? Stick around, because what happens at the end of this clip might change the way you see these predators and prey. This is Hardenboss Reef, Mossel Bay, South Africa. A midday patrol by a great white shark gliding over the shallow reef. Nothing unusual until two Cape fur seals enter the scene. A juvenile and a big adult bull. And instead of fleeing, they approach the shark. They don't just get close, they start taunting it, circling, darting, harassing, probing for weakness. The shark dodges once, twice, it's clearly trying to avoid the confrontation. And then this, the bull seal actually bites the shark's tail. One swift lunge and the ocean's apex predator flees. The shark disappears into deeper waters. The seals, they turn and calmly swim off towards Seal Island. So why didn't the shark attack? I put it down to four reasons. One, location. This wasn't the shark's kill zone, Seal Island. Seal Island is where white sharks ambush seals. This reef lies two kilometers from Seal Island and sharks are here to rest, chill, not to hunt. Two, timing. This was in the middle of the day. White sharks hunt seals in dawn and dusk, using surprise in the low light, not in broad daylight. Three, positioning. The shark was cruising at the surface, exposed. No ambush advantage. The seals identified it straight away and the shark knew that the game was up. And four, experience. The big seal was no ordinary seal. It was an adult bull. Seasoned, confident. He wasn't panicking. He was managing a threat. By keeping close, they tracked the shark, keeping their eyes on it, harassing it, dominating it, and ensuring their safety. Because if they had fled, turned their backs, then they would have been vulnerable. In the wild, survival doesn't always belong to the strongest. Sometimes it belongs to the smartest and the most experienced. In this case, a big old fur seal. I'm Ryan Johnson, and it's The Shark Show.